I also have a dog that's pretty talented. It's a golden retriever who uh, always breaks the paper in in the morning. One day I was explaining to Brenda, my wife, that I thought it was great that he was able to always bring us the newspaper every morning, rain or shine, it doesn't matter. And she said, well, what's the big deal? I said, we don't subscribe to it. <laughs> For 14 years, I shared the stage with Sierra Mist, the soda pup. We did talent shows, we did Halloween acts, we won a couple Halloween contests, and we performed with The Road Home. Weeks ago, I signed up to act, and I went home and I told Misty. She remembered last year, and she was so excited. She was ready to come. Three weeks ago, I lost her after a nine month battle with cancer. She left here and ran off to the Rainbow Bridge. By the edge of the woods, at the foot of a hill, is a lush green meadow where time stands still where the friends of man and woman do run when their time on earth is over and done. For here, between this world and the next, is a place where each beloved creature finds rest. On this golden land, they wait and they play till the rainbow bridge they cross over that one day. No more do they suffer in pain or in sadness, for here they are whole, their minds filled with gladness, their limbs are restored, their health renewed, their bodies have healed with strength imbued. They romp through the grass without even a care, until one day they start and sniff at the air. All ears prick forward, Eyes dart front and back, then all of a sudden, one breaks from the pack. For just at that instant, their eyes have met, to, together again, both person and pet. So they run to each other, these friends from long past. The time of their parting is over at last. The sadness they felt while they were apart has burned, turned into joy once more in each heart. They embrace with a love that will last forever. And then side by side, they cross over together. I guess I'm not as ready as I thought I was. <laughs> um, one of the things that I have left are the many, many little toys that I find all over the house. Misty loved socks. She never chewed them up. She only took one. She dragged it all over and then hid it behind the couch in a corner. I have a wonderful collection of single socks. I can throw them out because somewhere in my house is the mate. <laughs> and one of these days, I will find it. The other thing I have are many, many memories. One memory is from a year ago. And I would like to reprise part of our act from a year ago. Now, you were a part of this act a year ago. <laughs> Do any of you remember your part of the act? Okay, well, you practiced and you got pretty good at it last year. Here's your part of the act and we will practice. Okay, upon your signal, you go. <laughs> Anybody remember now? Yes. yes. All right. So we're going to do it all together, one big group, no competition this year. 
All right, are we ready to practice? Here we go. Very good, one more time. Okay. That's your part of the signal. Assuming I get through this. How much is that doggy in the window? The one with the waggly tail. How much is that doggy in the window? I do hope that doggy's for sale. was originally billed as the grannies, the grandpas, and a dog. So the grannies and the grandpas are still with us, even though they really followed up the program. So. <laughs> If you're a gal, you use gal. If you use a guy, you use guy. 
But first, since these folks got left out of the program, I'm going to introduce to you who we have here. I have no idea. <laughs> Oh. 